Welcome to What the World Needs You Jesus broadcast. Got an announcement today. What the World Needs You Jesus will be at Wills Creek Assisted Living in Fort Payne, Alabama every Wednesday evening at 1.30 p.m. The address there is 1050 Airport Road, West Fort Payne, Alabama, 35968. We'll be singing and bringing the word. Everyone is invited to come out and help us sing. You may come to be a blessing, but you'll leave with a blessing. We ask that you say a prayer for the residents there. And for more information, you can contact Brother Ricky Phillips at 256-630-1262. Got a message coming from Brother Kenneth Crane. The title of his message is Double Minded. He'll be reading from James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. Then we'll have a song coming from Sister Karen Crane singing, I'll Live Again. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, and click the bell to turn on your notifications on YouTube. Follow, like, and share on Facebook. And check us out on Instagram for some inspirational posts. Now let this video be a blessing. say praise the Lord and welcome you to what the world needs is Jesus broadcast. Yes. If there's ever a time the world needs Jesus, it's now. That's right. Uh, I'm telling you what, one day he's coming back and I don't know about you, but I want to be prepared. I yeah. want to be ready. Yeah. I, I don't know how the Lord's going to go with this thing. We're just going to go however the Lord says. And uh, But I want you to know something out there, Christians. I know there's trials and tribulations in this world and things that's going on in this world. And I know a lot of you having a lot of problems and a lot of Different things going on in your life, and some of it you can't figure out what's going on. But I'm going to tell you what, trust the Lord. Yeah. Put your trust in Him, praise God, because He'll never let you down. Right. But now I'm going to, I want you to understand something. There's no word in the Scriptures that anybody in this, anybody can prove to me and show me in there where He said once you get saved, you're not going to have any trouble. Right. It don't say that. No, it don't. I'm telling you, you go in there and read about the disciples and look what they done to Paul and what they did to all of them. But in this world, we're going to have trials and tribulations. But Jesus said to be a good cheer because I overcome, you can overcome yes, too. You know what? We're overcome by the word, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Uh -huh. But I want you to know something today. We're in the last days. Yes. And uh, the enemy knows he has but a short time. And he's trying to pull out all the stops and do everything that he can. That's right. But I'm going to tell you what, praise God. The Bible says greater is he that's in me than he that's in this world. So we can overcome. You know why? Because Jesus did. Yes, sir. And I want you to know something today. Praise God. He ain't with nowhere. He ain't sitting up there popping alpha seltzers. Praise <laughs> God. He ain't going around. Praise God. Or calling 911 trying to get help. Praise God. He is. Uh, he is Jesus Christ. He's sure okay. to mind right here. I think it says Jesus Christ. Praise God. The Alpha and the Omega. Praise God. He's the beginning and the end. And when it's all said and done, when the dust is settled and everything's over with, he's still going to be king of kings and lord of lords, oh, praise yeah. God. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going to lose no battles, praise God. And they're not going to take him. I know what the people in this world, some of them in this country are thinking, the enemy's thinking. We'll get him down here and we're going to kill him again. No, you ain't. No, you will not, praise God. Uh, they didn't nobody take his life, praise God. He gave his life. Right. He gave his life because he loved me and he loved you. Yeah. And if you're out there and you don't know Jesus Christ, he died for you. Mm -hmm. And he said, let whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord and they shall be saved. So see, if you, go, if you miss heaven, it won't be Jesus' fault because he paid that price yes, at Calvary, praise Amen. God, that we could all be saved. I was on my God. way to hell and I was on that highway and I was on that and it was speeding and I was getting faster and faster. But then came Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what. He's standing, he's knocking. He's knocking on heart's doors. You'll not die, you'll not die and leave this earth without uh, uh, Jesus dealing with you. You won't. Right. Somewhere along the line, he's going to deal with you. What you do with it, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You know what? We have free will choice. And we have that free will choice to accept him or de deny him. Mm -hmm. I want to make a suggestion to you. Call on Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You better get right before it's too late. I'm telling you, death can sneak up on you and catch you unaware. Yep. You say, well, now what about the, uh, these things going on in my life? Well, I want to read you some scriptures out here. It's in James. I'm just going to start reading in verse 1. I'm going to read through uh, uh, 4. 
James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Uh -huh. uh, diverse temptations, divers means different things. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of different things out there that we're going to face in this life. You see, I don't want, when I, since I've been walking with the Lord, it ain't just been one thing that I've had to yeah, deal with. There's been many things that I've had to deal with. But the thing about it is, Thank God, amen, the Lord's brought me through every one of them. <laughs> and you know what? Whatever comes, he's going to be there with me. That's right. Has it always been my, uh, went my way every time? No. No, it's not always. But I'm going to tell you what, I got victory in Jesus, oh, praise yeah. God. I'm going to tell you what, I have got victory over, <laughs> praise God. I got victory over death, hell, and the grave yes, because sir. what Jesus done at Calvary, praise God, he saved me. My name's written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, and I'm going to tell you what, they can't no man take that from me. The devil can't take it, Come praise on, God. That Amen. You can set me on fire. You can't burn it out of me, praise God. It's, it's in there. And you know what? It's my choice, praise God, whether or not I'm going to hold on to it. And my choice is, is I am going to hold on to what Jesus done for me. Right. Amen. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep on keeping on. Yes, sir. Praise God. Why? Because Jesus Christ, praise God, sent the Holy Ghost, praise God, down here to, it is in sent me to lead God and direct me in spirit and in truth. Now, let me read you something else right here. He said to count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. You know what? We don't need to praise the Lord, uh, Jesus, praise God, when all the bills are paid and everything's going good. On, That's when we don't want to praise him. Uh -huh. We want to get down in the valley, praise God, and then go to say, help me, Jesus, oh, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus. And then when he brings us up out of it, we'll say, thank you, Jesus. But then when everything's going real good, where's our praise at for right. amen? Right. Do we praise him in the good times? I'm going to tell you what, praise God, when we praise him in the good times, uh -huh. praise God, he knows we're going to praise him in when everything ain't going right too. Right. We're to lift him up at all times, praise oh, God. Yeah. We're to exalt him at all times and lift him up. And you know what we need to do? We need to pray one for another. Mm -hmm. Praise God, pray one for another that our faith fails not. Right. Oh, uh, Jesus told Peter, said, Satan desires to sift you as wheat. But Jesus said, I prayed for you that your faith fail you not. Woo, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know what Jesus is doing up there whenever we're in troubles and trials and tribulations? He said, I'm praying for you that your faith will fail you not. And that's what we got to know who Jesus is. Yes. He ain't just my Savior, praise God. He's my friend. Amen. He's my deliverer. Yes. He's my help, praise God. He's a lifter up of my head when I can't lift it up. He'll reach down and lift it up for me. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, he's, he is what he's my strength. He's what I need. You know what? The Holy Ghost is in me, praise God. When I call upon the name of Jesus, it activates the Holy Ghost in yes, me. Yes. And that living water goes a bubbling up. Uh -huh. And praise God, if you'll praise him long enough, praise God, that living water will spring up, praise God. And it's like pouring water in a, in a, in a cup. Mm -hmm. You keep pouring that water in there in a minute, it's going to run over. And it ain't going to just run over. It's going to run over and run down all the way around it. Ooh, yeah. And then it'll run down and circle around that uh, cup to that water wheel. Yeah. I'm telling you. We're walking, praise God, in the ark of safety with Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Covered yes, sir. by his blood. Oh, yeah. And that anchor will hold, <laughs> praise God. I'm telling you, it'll hold. Our sails may be torn and all that, but that anchor still holds. Come on, Ken. Amen. And Jesus Christ is my rock, praise yes, God. Sir. Yes, sir. Listen to what it says right here now in verse 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith, trying of your faith work of patience. Listen to what it says now, the trying of your faith. I got faith in Jesus Christ. There's no doubt about that. And when that trials and tribulations come, praise God, I've been walking with Jesus long enough. I know yeah. in whom I serve, and I know in whom I trust. Yes, sir. And yes, I know sir. my trust is in Jesus Ooh, Christ and him on, alone, yes. praise God. There ain't no man can do for me what Jesus can do. <laughs> the government can't do for me what Jesus can do. Yeah, my man. wife can't do for me what Jesus can do. Praise God, only he and him alone, praise God, is my deliverer. That's right. I want you to know something. There's not another name above the name of Jesus. That's right. Praise, praise God, Lord. his name is above every name. Oh, and yeah. the Bible says that everything that's got a name is going to bow to the name of Jesus, praise yeah. God. We've got to trust him in all these things going on in the world right now. Don't be fearful. He said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid, praise God. Right. Be a good right. cheer. Be a good cheer. Be a good courage. I'm going to tell you something. There's something good coming down the road if we'll hold on. You say, yeah, but I'm laying on my deathbed. How can you say something good coming down the road? 
you born again, praise God. Listen, let me tell you something. You've lived down here, say, 80 years. Hey, honey, you just, you ain't even been living. Right. Why do your breath leaves your body and you get into heaven, praise Ooh, God? Glory. Then you'll be living. Come then on, you'll man. be home. Yes. Then you'll be away from all the trials and tribulations and the heartaches and all the cares of this life. And the, there won't be no more tears, no more heartaches right. to them. No more t tears to dim your eyes, praise God. You won't be going and visiting nobody in heaven. You won't have to say, while I'm in heaven, well, I'm going to go over here to the nursing home and visit my family. No, 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 no. You're going to see them run by, praise That's God. Right. And you're going to say, my goodness, my mama looking good. My grandma sure does look good. Yes, my daddy sir. looks good. Yes, sir. My child died, praise God. They looking good. Uh, and let me tell you something. You out there and you listening to me and you say, well, I, I want to see my baby again. I, I've lost a child and it, it never was born. I lost uh, it. Praise God. Guess what? That Ooh, baby's up there. It's in the ark of safety. <laughs> Praise, Praise God. Let me Lord. tell you something. Yes. You'll see that baby again. I had a cousin that had a, she lost a child before it was born. She didn't get, uh, it was, in other words, it died before it was born. Uh -huh. And she'd cry sometimes to say, I want to see my baby. I said, live for Jesus and get yes, right sir. with Jesus. And yes, I said, sir. you'll see that baby again. Oh, yeah. She said, oh, you yeah. mean that baby's in heaven? I said, without a shadow of a doubt, <laughs> that baby's in heaven. Woo, you on. say, well, how can you say that? Praise God. You go through the scriptures and you read in there, praise God. And one of the scriptures in there, he told one of the old prophets of old, he said, I knew you before you was even formed in your mother's womb. Yes, sir. So you see people out there that yeah, says, well, when does when does uh, life start in a woman's, whenever that seed's planted? Yes, sir. That child, it starts right then living. I'm going to tell you what, praise God, when we get to heaven, it, what a day that'll be. Oh, yeah. Praise God, when I look upon Jesus' face, the Woo! one that saved me by his amazing grace, praise oh, God. God. I'm telling you what. If that don't make you get excited, praise God, you need to get right with Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you what, boy. I, mm. Listen to what it says now. Right the trying of your faith work of patience, but let patience have it per, have its perfect work. Let, let it, but let patience have her perfect work that she may be perfect, entering wanting nothing. Right. Woo, glory to God. I'm going to tell you what, when I enter into heaven, praise God, I ain't going to be wanting nothing except to see Jesus. Come on, Amen. And you know why a repentance true. is so imp important? Because I don't want no sin going up before me. I want to pray. I, I want to make sure that I stay repented up, living a clean life for Jesus Christ. Praise yeah. God. Keeping my uh, spirit, my soul clean of sin. Keeping my hands clean, praise God, from sin. So that there's, when I go, praise God, and I step up before Jesus, ain't going to be no big old pile of sins up there that I didn't repent of that I thought I didn't need to repent of. When I step up there, I want to step up there with clean hands and hear these words right here. Welcome in my well and faithful servant. Come on in, praise God, and get ready and, and walk down through uh, walk down through here and look at the table set. Look at the table that's set in heaven. Yep. He said, but we can't dine right now because we're waiting on the rest of them to come on in. <laughs> They're going to come a time where the, everybody, praise God, is gonna, it's going to go to heaven. It's going to come on in. Yep. He's going to say, all right, come on in. Food's fresh. Been sitting here waiting on all of you. Let's all sit down and dine. Yes, yes, we're going to sit down at the master's table in heaven. We're going to dine. And we're going to sing songs that even the angels can't That's sing. Right. That's right. I'm going to tell you what, praise God. If you, listen to me. If you're out there and you say, well, I just don't believe all that stuff, you might ought to come around and go to talking to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You might ought to think about that. And I'm going to tell you what, if we could reach back and peel hell back, and you could talk to people in hell that say, "Don't come to this horrible place." Right. It's not no place. It's not. It was not created for man. Hell wasn't. But because of the people rejecting Jesus Christ, He ain't sent nobody there. But because of their rejection of Him, they choosing their destination. Choose Jesus. Yeah. Choose Jesus. Let me just go ahead. I'm gonna read another verse right here. Let, let me just read verse five. It ain't up on the screen, but that's all right. Listen all right. to it in verse yeah. five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give up all to all men liberally and upbraid if not, and it shall be given unto him. Now listen, I'm gonna read on down. Let him, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Yeah. For he that waver wavereth is like a man of the sea, driven with the wind, tossed to and fro. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of God. Of the Lord, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yeah. You see, we got to be steadfast. We got to be unmovable, like right. a tree planted by the water. 
We got to know that we know that we know that we know we're born again. We got to know that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Praise God. And He is, praise God, the only name that a man can be saved by. You see, they out there preaching it. There's all kinds of ways to get to heaven. And uh, praise God. And you ain't got to go through Jesus Christ. There's many ways to get there. Praise God. I'm telling you right now. They deceived and they're deceived and being deceived and they're out there deceiving people with that kind of talk. Because Jesus Christ himself said in red in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but by me. Amen. And you can't get there any other way except being born again. Jesus said, told Nicodemus in John 3 and 3, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again. He'll not see the kingdom of God. You say, we got to be saved. But we got to be born again, praise God. I'm telling you, Jesus loves you. Well, I tell you what, mm, 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 mm. I'm, he loves you. He wants you to know that he loves you. Listen to me now. I, I, I'm fixing to get into this right here, and I want you to listen to it. Uh, it's in uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ had made us free. Listen now, uh, Christian. And be not entangled again with a yoke of bondage. You know what? I used to be. I drank, drugged, cussed, lied, all kinds of sin I had in my life. Used to be that man. But I'm not that man anymore. I've been set free. You know what happened? Then came Jesus. And the truth set me free. And Jesus said that who he says free is free indeed. But now, right there is where I want to stop a minute and talk to you, right there about that. He set me free from what? My sins. My sins are cast into the sea when I got born again. Cast into the sea of forgiveness, not to never be remembered anymore. Right. But I cannot take and let that freedom that he gave me make me think that I can go back, go back, and do the things that I used to do and go back under that bondage that he set me free from. I cannot go back and be under that bondage anymore and think that Jesus is going to say it's okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let me read you another scripture right here. Mm-hmm. Verse 13. For brethren, you have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. In other words, I don't need to be a stumbling block to my brother or my sister or to a lost person. I used to be, I used to go in the beer store and I wouldn't go in there and buy a six pack. I'd go in there and come out with two or three cases of beer. And by, uh, by the weekend, before the weekend was over, I was back buying more. But see, the thing about it is, I've been set free from all that. Now, what would it do to somebody that knew me and knows me if they saw me coming out of a, a, a store with two cases of beer, one in each hand. Come on, you're preaching right. Come you know on. what I just become? I just become a stumbling block and done away with everything, all my witness that I have with anybody. It was all gone. Right. And I just put myself back under the bondage of, of that sin that the Lord set me free from. Think about it. Boy, I'm going to tell you what. I love to preach them, shout me down, praise God. Good messages, but sometimes we've got to bring the whole truth, the fullness That's of the truth. Right. See, the Bible says to preach the word, be instant. In season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with long suffering and doctrine. we got to preach the word. See, because the Bible says a time will come when man will not endure sound doctrine, but they'll go to and fro here, there, and yonder looking for somebody, a tickler ear, and tell them if they, everything's all right. I'm going to tell you what, it ain't, everything in the world ain't all right. This country's in a mess, and it's turning its back on God more and more every day. And I'm going to tell you something, the world, I'm going to tell you what, you go back and you read in Noah's days, all the wickedness and all the evilness that was going on before the, uh, before the flood come, it's all coming back, and everything at Sodom and Gomorrah, all those days are here. Everything, it's a, everything that you can go from Genesis to, and read over to where we're at right now, it's all going on right now, all at one time. Yeah. All at one time. Israel at one time was destroyed. 
But then I, I praise God, you read in the Old Testament, Isaiah and all that, it says that they will, uh, it tell, uh, Israel will, be, uh, will come back and Jerusalem, praise God, will come back and it'll blossom out before Christ's return. Google it. Pull it up. It, well, and, pull, and go back from 1948 and pull you up something. It was a desolate land. There was a man, I can't remember his name, walked uh, over there in that area over there, and he said that you couldn't even get a twig of grass to grow over here. But now you look over there and it's blossomed out. Mark Twain was the man's name. Yes, thank you, Harold. Uh, uh, went over there and, and, and seen that. It was so dry, if there was anything, a little twig of grass rolled up, it was, you, you've seen them movies where it blow across the street. It might be a tw something like that blow across there. But there wasn't no death in it because it was even dead and it just blowing across there. But now you look at it and it's bloomed out. The Word of God is fulfilling, and thank God, amen, yeah. I love to be able to read the Word, oh, see it fulfilling yeah. right down to a T. I'm telling you, listen to me. <laughs> I don't care what everything that's going on in this world. Praise God, salvation is still available to anybody to call upon His precious holy name. Yeah, praise yeah. God, if you call on Him, praise God, He'll answer. Thank you, but I'm going to tell you what, if you don't call on His name and you don't believe He's who He says He is, you have that free will choice, praise God, to say, I don't want to hear it, don't want nothing to do with Him. That's your free will choice. Right, but you ain't going to change my mind. <laughs> I'm done fully persuaded. I've done had a taste, praise God, on, and I'm yeah. going to tell you what, that taste gets sweeter and sweeter as every yes, day goes sir. by. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you what, Jesus Christ is real. Mm -hmm. He's real. Now, I'm going to read you some more scriptures out right here. So Some of these scriptures are a little bit hard to swallow, and some of you say, well, I've never heard that before. I've never heard that. I've had people come out at a church before, be somewhere, and them come out and say, I've never heard that scripture before. She read in there. That's why we need to read the word for ourselves. Right. See, don't take my word for it. Go in there and read the scriptures for yourself. Because you know what? The Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word. Oh, so yeah. if you have to, sit down, praise God, go out in the woods, go out wherever you got to, go in the bathroom, lock the door, turn the shower on, sit down and read that word out loud because, praise God, you hear if you're reading it out loud, you're, that word's going in you. Yeah. Read yeah. it. Read it. Praise God. When you get hunger, I guarantee you, You'll go in there and fight, dig in that refrigerator or cabinet or something. You'll break something out. If that uh, body gets hungry, you'll feed it. Praise God, I don't know about you, but when my soul goes to feeling like it oh, needs to be yeah. fed, I get the word out. Yes, sir. And you know what? He said, my word is life. Mm -hmm. And he said, heaven and earth may pass away, but my word will stand. Yes, yes. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand upon the word. Because this word right here is life. Amen. Praise God, I'm telling you what, he's real. He wants to be real in your life. He wants you to understand what we're trying to tell you. Yeah. He wants you to experience what we know. See, I've been walking this walk a long time. Brother Harold been walking it 45 years, I think. Wow. I believe it is. He's been living for Jesus 45 years. And I'm going to tell you what, this word right here, uh, it, it, listen. I, I can read in here, I read this word. And I'm going to tell you what, I open it up and I find something that it, it, it just reveals to you. It just, it just feeds my soul, praise God, and it gives me wisdom and knowledge and understanding more and more about what's going on in the world. But I'm going to tell you what, I've read in here about where Jesus said, praise God, there's going to come a time that we're going to, uh, the ones that are born again looking for him, we're going to hear a trumpet. Praise God, and he's going to yeah. step out on that eastern cloud. Praise God. Oh, yeah. And the Bible says that the dead in Christ will rise first, Glory. and that we alive remain shall be caught up yeah. to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you what, people need to get down. See, the Bible says to rightly divide the word of truth. See, we got to get down and read the word and get an understanding of it. See, when Jesus was talking, praise God, when he came, he come to his own, and his own received him not. When Zechariah was talking in there, he was talking to the Jews. He wasn't talking to the Gentiles. He wasn't talking to us. He wasn't talking to the church whenever he was making that, uh, whenever he was writing it down in there, praise God, when he was hearing from God, writing it down. See, the Bible says that the men of old, praise God, wrote the word as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So when he was predict saying on there about when Jesus would come back and put his foot down, praise God, he was talking about at the end of the Battle of Armageddon right there, and he'd put his foot down. Yeah. But see, when Jesus come and dwelt among his own, his own received him not, so therefore Jesus turned to us. Yeah. He turned to us, and they, they say the Jews are still blinded to the day. So guess what? If the Jews are blinded, that means they're not the church. So who is the church? 
We are the church. Where is the kingdom of God at? It's in here. Yes. Where is the Holy Ghost at? He's in here. Yes. He don't dwell in buildings made with wood and stone. He dwells in here. Amen. And you know where the restrainer's at? It's in here. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus Christ has got to take the restrainer out of the way, see, he's got to take the restrainer out. He had to make a way so Paul, he had Paul to write it down. That's why he said that the dead in Christ. So if the Jews are blinded right now and they're not in Christ, that means we're in Christ, right? Think about that. Where is the Holy Ghost? It's in, if we're saved, we're the church. Yes. Yeah. So that means the dead in Christ that died, the, where, where are they? They're not in that uh, grave. They're not in that tomb. They're not in that casket. They're not in the ground. Their spirit and souls done gone on to be with the Lord. But oh, the Lord, yeah. see, when He does a work, He'll do a perfect work. Amen. That's why this thing here can't enter in. But it, the Bible says it'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah. Pray to God, it'll go from corruptible to incorruptible. Oh, Pray to yeah. God. It'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. And when that uh, the dead in Christ rise first and we live or remain, be caught up. Praise yeah, God. Sir. And yeah, then, uh, but see, there'll still be people saved during the tribulation. Praise God. There'll be people saved. But the end of the battle of Armageddon, when he, and there'll be Jews over there that knows about, has heard about Jesus, and they're still looking for him to come. But well, Jesus steps his foot down, puts it down, praise God. The honest man made thing in heaven and nail scars in his hands. When he steps that foot down, I feel the Holy Ghost, praise God. Yes. When he puts his foot down, they're going to say, there's the King of kings, the Lord of lords. They're going to say, there's the Yeshua, yes. praise God. He's, he's come. Oh, yeah. Whoo, boy, I tell, oh, glory to God, I'm telling you what. Boy, the Holy Ghost, I'm telling you what. He's going to draw, he's going to draw, he's going to draw. Yeah. He, he, this thing right here is going to go all over the world, and he's drawing every person. Praise God. It don't matter what nationality you are, what language you speak, you're going to be able to understand it. Praise God. Because he is the great interpreter. Praise God. And you can hear it in, in the, uh, the language you need to hear it in. He's going to draw. Praise God. Yeah. And if you don't get right with Jesus, praise God. Listen, it won't be Jesus' fault because he's sending in a word. Yeah. He's knocking. He said, let whosoever will. Uh -huh. You say, well, I live over here in Iran. You are whosoever will. That's right. Yeah, well, I live in Iraq. You are whosoever will. Come on, you man. don't understand. I live over here in Israel. I live here in Israel, and I've never heard nothing like this. You are whosoever will. That's right. You know what? Jesus will save you. Yeah, he will. He'll save you. You got to call on him. Mm -hmm. He said, let whosoever will. You are whosoever will. Call yeah. upon the name of the Lord. Praise, praise God. The Lord. Praise the Lord. You know why it's so important that we need to praise God, uh, let uh, patience or the trying of our faith. You know why we need to let it have its perfect work. Uh -huh. You know why we need to let that patience, let patience have its perfect work. That we'll enter and want nothing. I'm gonna read you a scripture right here. Don't you listen oh, to it? Yeah. Here's what. Now listen to this. Matthew 24, 12. You see people out here in the world, and they're they're so hard hearted, and you see them doing stuff, and you say, "My God, I can't believe people's doing all these things. I don't understand what's going on." I talked here a while back about them, uh, them, them uh, spirits have come back, them unclean spirits have come back. But listen to what it says in verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound. You know what iniquity means? Immoral, grossly unfair behavior, wickedness, unrighteousness. Now listen to what it says. Now I'm going to read it. This because, now listen, I'm going to read And because iniquity. Now listen. Uh -huh. And because immoral, grossly unfair uh, behavior, wickedness, unrighteousness, shall abound the love of many shall wax cold. Yep. But listen, I got some good news for you, Christian. I got some good news for you, boy. <laughs> when Jesus come through, he brought good news. Yeah, you know what? Jesus passing by today yeah, and he's still yeah, bringing good news. <laughs> listen to what he says. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You know what endure means? We're going to have to go through some stuff. We're going to endure some things. I just read it to you over in James, the trying of your faith. Yeah. Well, let that trying of your faith have patience. Let that have, I mean, it's going to be a diverse temptation. Different things are going to come your way. There may be things coming my way. It might not affect Kendall. Maybe something come her way that I ain't tempted with. Right, might be right. something Brother Rick uh, is dealing with, something he's having to deal with that I'm yeah. not. Could be something that uh, Brother Harold's dealing with, might be dealing with that I ain't having to deal with. Right, but right. see, it's all coming against us, trying to pull us away from Jesus, That's trying right. to distract us. Right. But the thing about it is, the Bible says those that keep their mind upon the Lord will keep us in perfect peace. Ooh, glory. 
Woo, Lord, that God. I'm telling you what, the Lord loves you. I want you to know something. He loves you. He cares for you. I want you to listen to this right here now. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith, he loved us. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ by grace, ye are saved. Listen to this right here. And raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Yes. I'm going to tell you what, if there's anything that i ever seen as close to sitting in heavenly places here on this earth, it's right here behind this right here, yes, behind this pool for you. I'm going to tell you what, God. praise God, when I feel that living water, which yes. is the Holy Ghost stirring up inside of me like that, praise God, I don't know. It's as close as a thing yeah. as I can ever get to in heavenly places here on this earth, praise God. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what, if heaven is, uh, glory to God, listen, the Bible says that eyes are not seen, or ears heard, or neither is in the heart of uh, what God has in fire on them that yeah. love him. Praise God, I can tell you right now, it's good. We ain't even, it, it can't compare with what heaven's going to be like. Right. So I'm going to be a happy camper when I get to heaven, Ooh, praise glory. God. Hey, I'm going to tell you what, there's going to be some shouting going on, there's going to be some praising yes, going on, there's going to be some singing going on, praise God. There's going to be some running going on. And I'm going to tell you what, there we will be with the Lord, wherever yes. Jesus is, praise yes. God. Yes. Yes. Oh, man, I'm telling you what, if you ain't saved, you need to think about getting saved. If you are right. saved, praise God, and you say, well, everything that can go wrong is going wrong, sit down at your table, take your pen and a piece of paper, and think of everything that's good in your life, <laughs> write it down, Put it up on the, uh, your refrigerator, and when you feel everything seems like going wrong, go by and say, yeah, look what the Lord has done. Ooh, on, Praise yeah. God. And, and just think about that right there. And go by and read it all off. Think about all the good things he's done. Yeah, but you don't understand I'm going through this and I'm going through that. Yeah, but your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, and you're on your way to heaven. If that ain't enough to make you rejoice, praise God, the you woods wet, get praise God up, stand up, shout. Get you some anointing oil, go through your house and have a devil stomping and kick the yeah, devil man. out of your house, praise God, and tell him he ain't welcome there. As far as he's God, and let him know who you are in Christ yes, Jesus. Sir. Well, I'm going to tell you what, we need to know where we stand with Jesus. Yes, yes. If you're out there today and you don't know Jesus, praise God, I'm going to tell you something you need to think about getting right. You liable to leave and go to the grocery store and not make it. You say, well, I don't know. I got a nice car and it's got all kinds of safety features on it. Yeah, but that don't mean nothing, praise God, if you're going down the road and you uh, and you get hit on somebody running 100 miles an hour. All, all that safety stuff ain't going to protect you. Come on, you preaching right. But I'm going to tell you what. We're in the ark of safety with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. if, they, if my wife gets a phone call, praise God, and, and I don't make it home uh, to my house here, I made it home to heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, praise sir. God, I can say that but without a shadow of a doubt. Mm -hmm. All I've done is just change places. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, I tell you what, Jesus loves you today. Yes. Think about what's been uh, what we talked about right here. I didn't know what we was gonna talk about. I just knew the Lord, Holy Ghost, is gonna show up, and show out. I'm not a preacher. Don't claim to be one. Praise God. I'm just a servant of the Lord. Oh yeah. I want to obey Him when He yes. says do something. But I want you to know something. I've been called by the Lord. Praise God. Yes. I know I have. I don't have to ask anybody about that. Amen. But we love you. We care about you. That's why we come out here week after week after week, praise God, and spread the That's word right. with you to let you know Jesus is that good news. And there are trials and tribulations and things going on in this world, but be a good cheer. Yeah. Yeah. Be a good cheer. He's overcome, and we can too. I want to thank you for listening to What the World Needs of Jesus. Until next time, God bless every one of you. Tomb of Lazarus commanded him to come forth. The people they stood in awe as Lazarus walked out of the door. Mary and Martha cried for once he was dead, but now he's alive. Jesus said, I'm the resurrection, and Lazarus lives again. I'll live again, I'll live again. No matter how deep the grave, no matter Trumpet sound, this body of mine will come out of the ground in the twinkling of an eye. I'll live again. Ezekiel prophesied, and the bones they came together. Again, he prophesied, and the flesh came upon them. Ezekiel prophesied unto the four winds. 
They stood on their feet and they started to breathe those bones they lived again. Some resurrection morning, if I'm buried deep, if in death I close my eyes and I've been laid to sleep, don't worry about me, brother, a promise has been made. As sure as I hear that trumpet sound, I'm I just want to say we appreciate you for watching today. I hope something was said, uh, maybe help you out in your daily walk with Jesus, amen, or help you out with your daily walk in the world, uh, uh, amen, that might change your mind from being lost to being saved, amen. Glory be to God. If you got a prayer request today, you can send a private message to facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is Jesus. You can call or text Brother Ricky Phillips, 256-630-1262, Brother Kenneth Crane at 256-557-2858 or Brother Harold O'Neill at 256-475-5854. You can also email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. And like I say, we appreciate you today and we thank you for tuning in. Until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you. Amen.